Hi, kindergartners. Uh, we are in lesson 32. So I need you to find this page in your green books. It's going to be right after that page that we worked on yesterday uh, with the squares that were in a circle and the clouds. So I need you to work together in your group to find page or lesson 32. You'll see uh, at the top it says lesson 32 homework. And you will see a bunch of boxes. And then you'll also see, um, so you'll see a bunch of blank boxes with numbers. And then you'll also see a bunch of these silly boxes with X's and O's. And there's going to be one more box here where you're going to um, write a little story. So I'm going to give you a few moments to find this page. And then I will walk you through the directions on what you're doing today. So great job finding this page in your green book. Uh, this is the first question that I'm going to have you work on. I'm going to write number one next to this since this is our first question. Uh, and let's read the instructions together. Here it says to write the missing numbers. You're going to look at these boxes and you're going to write the missing numbers. So I see a blank and a two. Hmm. What number, what counting number comes before two? <gasps> hey, I know, it's a one. So now you're going to look across the page and think, what are the missing numbers? So I did the first one for you. We have one and then two. Next, I want you to think what counting number comes after two, and then what counting number comes after that number. What is our next number? And now we have six and seven, and now you have to think, brain, think, what is the counting number that comes after seven? And then you're going to think, oh, what is the counting number that comes after this mystery number, but before 10? So check your work after you fill in all of your missing numbers. I want you to make sure that this makes sense. And I want you to make sure that all of your numbers are in the right place. So once you fill out or figure out you are missing numbers, go ahead and check your work to make sure that you have your counting numbers starting with one and ending with 10. Good luck, take your time and have fun. you write the missing numbers now you are ready for this second question this is uh, the problem that's right in the middle of your your page this is uh, that interesting looking question with these eight boxes and in the eight boxes you see X's and O's so before we start let's go ahead and read the directions together so that we know what we're doing so here it says to draw X's or O's to show one more. Oh, that's very interesting. So in our first box, I see one, two X's. 
I'm going to draw one more X to show one more. So I drew one more X. In the next box, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to see, oh, I see one X. I'm going to draw one more X to show one more. So you're going to look in each of these boxes and each time you're going to look at the X or the O and you just need to draw one more. <gasps> this one's pretty tricky. I don't see any X's or any O's. So I'm just going to choose, I'm going to choose an O to draw one more. So take your time with this, have fun, and in each of these boxes, you're drawing X's or O's to show one more. Have fun and do your best work. problem on your page. This is the final problem that you're going to be working on uh, in this rotation. I'm going to read this to you and then you're going to think about what you need to do. Let's read this together. Tell, oops, tell someone a story about one more of something and then one more. Draw a picture about your story. So here, oops, sorry, the wrong button. Here, you're going to think about a time where you had one more and then one more. I am just going to give you an example of one more. And let's remember our story that we had with the baby bear and the mama bear. Do you remember the baby bear started at zero and then the baby bear hopped up one more stair and then the baby bear was trying to get up to mama and the baby bear hopped up one more stair again. So this is an example of one more and then one more. You can absolutely write a story about stairs. You could write a story or tell a story about cookies, how you asked mom or dad for a cookie and they gave you one and then you asked, oh, for just one more. Has anyone ever been in a situation like that? Okay, so for this final question here, friends, I want you to think about a story about one more and then one more. And then I want you to draw a picture about your story in this box. Have fun, mathematicians.